The theme of our show this evening is the music of the Roaring Twenties. You're a wonderful audience. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're delighted to present one of the brightest stars in the entertainment field, Norma Zimmer. Norma? Oh. 
Among My Souvenirs, written in 1927, the year of the historic flight of Charles Lindbergh. We join millions of Americans in paying tribute to this great man as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of his famous flight. Now let's see how many of you folks remember this big hit of the 20s. Myron, are you ready? Yep. A one, two, and... <laughs> Sissy and Bobby. Charleston, Charleston, made in Carolina. Some dance, some prance, I'll say. There's nothing finer than the Charleston, Charleston. Lord, how you can shuffle. Every step you do leads to something new. Man, I'm telling you, it's a lot of soup. You know, this week I had to learn a song that was written before I was born, but I'm sure glad I did, because it's a song that's never going to go out of style. Bob? I can't give you anything but love, baby. That's the only thing I've plenty of, baby. Dream a while. Scheme a while, you're sure to find happiness, and I guess all the things you've always pined for. Gee, I'd like to see you looking so well, baby. Diamond bracelets were worth a dozen cents, my pretty baby. Till that lucky day 
You know darn well, my pretty baby. I can't give you anything but love, sweet love. I can't give you anything but love, but love, but. Young man, you certainly did a great job on that old song. Musicians have always enjoyed getting together for a little jam session. Let's listen to a few of our boys. Take it away, gentlemen. <laughs> I love hosting these wealth shows because it gives me a chance to brag about my grandchildren. I have 13, and the two oldest are in college now. Andrea is a sophomore at the University of Santa Barbara. She's studying communications and really doing great. My first grandson, Lawrence Jennings Zimmel, named after me and my father, just become a member of the Golden Key National Honor Society, an organization that recognizes seniors at UCLA who are in the top 15% of their class. He's a political science major. He's just one of these kids that always did well in school. You know, like a lot of grandparents today, we helped take care of him most of his life. And we really enjoyed those growing up years. He's a straight A student, just like his grandpa. Do I hear people laughing out there? With grandkids like we got, we don't have to look for a silver lining on a cloudy day. It's always right there in front of our eyes. And if this sounds like a song to you, you're right. 
Here's a beautiful Jerome Kern song I'm sure you will all enjoy. Kathy Sullivan takes us back to 1920 with Bob Rawson at the organ. Look for the silver lining when a cloud appears in the blue. Remember somewhere the sun is shining and so the Wasn't that beautiful? Kathy Sullivan. What a beautiful voice. And it was so good to hear that song again. Now, all you Weight Watchers, it's time for your weekly dance lesson with Arthur Duncan. Arthur, take it away. Hi, folks. You know, dancing is a great way for exercising. And before getting into our dance lesson this week, I'd like to say, that dancers have original and unusual names for dance steps. For example, this one's called Sally Wants Her Dog Back. Sally Wants Her Dog Back. Sally Wants Her Dog Back. You see? Now, next week, we'll try something else. But right now, fellas, how about a downbeat? Well, folks, there you've had your weekly lesson, Tips on Tap, from Arthur Duncan. Don't forget to practice. You know, I think Irving Berlin wrote more hit songs than any composer in history. 
During the 20s, he gave us some memorable waltzes. And I'm sure you're going to remember this all-time favorite, sung by Guy and Ralda. Berlin's biggest hit, written in 1925. Here's another one of his big hits, and it's one of my favorites. Big hit for Gene Austin back in the 20s. And by the way, some real nice accompaniment. Neil Levang on the acoustic guitar, Richard Maloof on the guitarone, and Paul Humphrey on the drums. 
Next, we find a pair of very talented performers working on their nightclub act. Let's drop in and listen to Mary Lou Metzger and Jack Immel. Hey, Mary Lou, have you heard this new tune called Crazy Rhythm? Listen. What do you say we hit him with some crazy rhythm? Crazy rhythm, here's the doorway. Crazy rhythm, from now on we're through. Here's where we have a showdown. Crazy rhythm, here's goodbye to you. They say that when a highbrow meets a lowbrow, walking along Broadway, soon the highbrow, he has no brow, ain't it a shame? And you're to blame. What's the use of prohibition? You produce the same condition. Crazy rhythm, we've gone crazy too. considered ancient history by our very young Szymanski sisters. So the girls take the song just a little more reasoned. San Francisco, open your golden gates. You let no stranger wait outside your door. San Francisco, here is your wandering one, saying I'll wander no more. Other places only make me love you best. Tell me you're the heart of all the gold and west. So Welcome me home again. I'm coming home to go roaming no more. Yes, I'm coming home to go roaming no more, no Wasn't that nice? Well, it's a great pleasure to have the Szymanski sisters back with us again. They've been on tour recently. Ken Dealer brings back memories of Eddie Cantor, one of my favorite entertainers of the 20s. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, 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 what a cow. There's none so classy as this fair lassie. Oh, oh, holy Moses, what a chassis. We went walking, she didn't walk. All back from Yonkers, I'm the guy that had a walk. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, oh. 
saw Mary Lou Metzger and me pretending we were a nightclub act. And we still work together whenever we can. But I had a partner years ago on the Lawrence Welk show, and we're back doing numbers together again. You're gonna love her. Oh, you beautiful doll, you great big beautiful doll. Let me put my arms around you. I could never live without you. Oh, you beautiful doll, you great big beautiful doll. If you ever meet me, how my heart will ache. I want to hug you, but I fear you'd break. Oh, 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 beautiful, such a beautiful, great big beautiful doll. There's a swinging arrangement of a song from the 20s. You'll also hear our charming little Mexican senorita, Ana Cunningham. <laughs>
Beautiful. Thank you. The late Al Jolson was recognized as one of the top entertainers of all time. Joe Feeney sings a sentimental ballad that was a big hit for Jolson in the 20s. Joe? Climb upon my knee, sonny boy. You are only three, sonny boy. You've no way of knowing. There's no way of showing what you mean to me. Sonny boy, when there are gray skies, I don't mind the gray skies. You make them blue, sonny boy. Friends may forsake me, let them all forsake me. Sonny boy, you're sent from heaven, and I know your worth. You're straight from heaven for me, right here on earth. God bless you. so much. Folks, I've made so many mistakes in my life. I'm amazed I made it in the show business. For instance, in 1932, we were playing the Baker Hotel in Dallas, Texas. Harry James came to try out for our little band, and I didn't like him. <laughs> That's what I call a real goof. Well, Harry, I don't just want to apologize. I want to make amends by playing your excellent recording arrangement of the sheet that became such a famous recording in this nation, featuring our own Johnny Sell and several of our talented boys. Gentlemen, are you ready? Come over yes, here. Sir. Let me give you a good feed on it, huh? Are you ready, boys? Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't be over anxious. I'll give you the beat. Are you ready like this? One, two, I want to three.
Hold up, please. He's so young. Let's not spoil him. <laughs> Johnny, do something for me. Right after the show, come over to my dressing room. That was so wonderful. I want to talk to you about a race. Well, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Don't thank, thank me so much. I just want to talk to you about it. <laughs> Isn't he wonderful? Well, that's a common man I'm not going to let get away. Wasn't that great? I loved it when Lawrence would ignore those cue cards, and just talk. When we were on the road and he didn't have to worry about television timing, he was very, very natural. He wasn't nervous or uptight like a lot of people thought. Something else everybody was totally wrong about was his reputation for being, shall we say, thrifty. You can bet he gave Johnny Zell that raise. We all got raises. And he gave Christmas bonuses. And if we did a little extra, he always rewarded us for it. And long before anybody else, especially in the band business, he introduced profit sharing. Sweetest two words I've ever heard. Musicians can be wild and crazy guys, but Lawrence Welk was not one. He took real good care of us through the years. Thank you, Mr. Welk. Naturally, Ava Barber doesn't remember the 20s. But she does remember this hit song from those days. ago we introduced one of her new recordings and we've just had the good news it's moved up another 10 points on the popularity charts one of the real classics of american music was written during the roaring 20s the great churchman wrote his famous rhapsody in blue for the paul whiteman orchestra in 1924 the year i left the farm for the music business here's our arrangement of this musical masterpiece featuring henry cuesta Bob Ralston, our singers, and conducted by George Case.
so much, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings.